Hi there, Pisces. Welcome. We're here for you. This is going to be your September reading. This is your 2023. But as always, please do keep an open mind as this may resonate over time. Um, wow, I just see so much energy for you here coming in, Pisces. I'm a channeler, starseed, oracle medium. I'm speaking on behalf of here, the Pleading Light Body Council. We are here with the celestial beings of light as you see it. This is about your journey. And so please do um, make sure that you're resonating with these messages uh, and that they are truly in alignment for you and that you're able to place them in terms of the empowering energies that they bring forward for you. It should definitely feel clarifying rather than confusing, okay? Um, but there, I'll say it as a caveat, I do recommend as well to watch multiple times because the readings will sort of, um, they'll, they'll shift into your consciousness in better place as you watch uh, several times over, okay? And through time, because it's not meant to sort of just make sense and click on the first sort of watch. Okay, so three of cups, Pisces. We'll say it like this as well, you know, as energy settle in, right, it takes time for those patterns to sort of happen the way they do in our life, right? So to unravel this energy and this consciousness, it takes time. Spirit is saying that, do be patient with your downloads. Some of you, maybe you're feeling frustrated, you're watching reads, and it's like, you don't know like which one is applying to you. Spirit is saying, have patience with how you watch, okay? So maybe watch, in, for instance, at later points in time in different sort of moods and vibes. Anyways, so Pisces, let's continue. I feel like you have so many, so many energies here around you that are so positive. Many of you, Pisces, let's back it up, clear throat chakra. There's someone here who is um, waiting to come in. I'm going to first just channel the energies and then we're going to get a card for each of the days. Some of you here, you have a Gemini who is just absolutely in adoration of you. Okay, this person is drawn to you literally like a moth to the flame this is someone who is going to be a part of your world i feel in a in a in a, in a really soothing way this person's going to be someone who you can count on and they feel that you're someone that they can count on okay there's a reciprocity here it could also be that just gemini energies are really at the forefront it may be that you find someone oh my god no stop pisces like this person two 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 right there this person they feel you could not you can, I'm hearing that song "Irreplaceable" by Beyonce. You could not, you cannot, you cannot be replaced. Okay, so there's something that maybe even like you're serving currently, like whoever this is, and this could just be generally your third house or your twelfth. This person feels that nobody can trump. Okay, who it is that you've been to them, um, Pisces. I feel like they want you to know that. Yeah, they're really obsessed with you, actually. Okay, we have the lovers coming in with the high priestess. Let me just meditate here. I'm hearing from this person that they actually hope that you can you can see that, okay, about your connection. Like, I feel this person hopes that you don't take it. I'm hearing the wrong way, okay? So maybe there's something that went down between you two, or possibly there's this, like, waiting game energy. Okay, so for some of you here, you have actually kind of blocked this person off. That's for some. We do have a heavy retrograde season, so it could be that there's someone from your past who knows that you're sort of not really feeling them anymore, okay? We'll say it like that. And they can feel that, and they they want, they want you to know that, well, um, they don't really intend for you to feel the way you do about them like they are trying to tell you in some way that they don't want you to be hurt about their actions and about their behavior but let's continue now there is someone coming in pisces let's get a little bit on who this is i feel this is fresh energy it could be this person from your past but let's get a little bit on who this newer energy is someone could be trying to sort of like warm up to you i feel like they're a little bit intimidated for whatever reason okay Taurus. Wow. Uh, they're not intimidated necessarily by you, but by what you guys um, resemble together. Like this person is knowing very well that you're the one. Okay. This person feels that you don't see it though. Like there's something about you not being possibly completely receptive. It's like, I feel they're kind of frustrated. Like they feel that you guys are not hitting on your potential together. 
it's almost like they feel that you're not seeing how amazing you are to them. It's kind of like what I'm picking up on. And it may be that they were not able to communicate clearly enough. Some of you, there is a misunderstanding energy. Um, they maybe even like literally did something that would cause you to believe that they're not interested in you or that to the extent that they are. And I feel they're feeling really shitty about that. They don't, they don't like the way they handled that situation. Okay, I'm hearing that situation, the emperor. They could have let, um, honestly, their passion for you ruin the potential at the end of the day. You know, like sometimes when you're really nervous and you really, really feel something for someone, but then you end up sabotaging. Okay, they sabotaged because of the passion they were feeling for you. So this person really apparently wants to talk to you and come through in some way, like they're feeling really uh, guilty. So we'll let them have their moment, but of course it's always gonna be up to you how it is that you end up seeing this person, right? And making sure that, um, I mean, there is receptivity because you're not responsible for, yeah, like what this person could not do, so. Okay, but let's get further, let's back it up. Um, before we bid farewell to whoever this is, let's give them a little bit more space to speak. Who is this person? Could be a Libra or someone with a lot of Libra Venus. They feel like you, um, I felt like they just didn't appreciate the chance they had with you back there. Okay, if we're just gonna really say it, yeah, they maybe they're trying to like warm back up with you, but you've already kind of identified that they're a snake in the grass even. Mm -hmm. For some, you're just not trusting this person. And they feel that. For some of you, um, you kind of saw this person's true colors. Okay, you saw their true character. And I feel like quite recently, um, you saw it like clearer than day, clearer than ever. You didn't need any further confirmation. And I feel like you're pretty comfortable with where you're at with this connection. Okay, Pisces, like you're not second guessing the decision that you made, okay, about why it is that you want to let them go as well. So it's not something that, let's say, you know, there are those moments where you want to debate with the person and you want them to prove like, no, nah, I'm not like that. In this case, you don't need to talk to anybody about what you have realized about how this person operates, okay? And what that means for you. And I feel like usually um, you're not in alignment, okay, with this person and they're not empowering your cause. And so that's enough for you, okay? Like it's not anything that they could really say much about if you know what I mean. So it could be something, you know, I, I get like a tribal energy here. I get like a energetic sort of, uh, this is something energetic Pisces, like this person is a blockage to your long-term and they are possibly a part of a generational contract that you are bidding farewell to. So, you know, red pill, blue pill, either they are in alignment or they're not. And so it's just, you know, that's it. Okay, Pisces, like, yeah, again, the world popping out. Like, this is something that you're maybe really not gonna negotiate and you know that. So it's like, what's the point? Like, why should we try to like pretend that we're farther from closure than we really are? Um, I feel this person's having more trouble with, um, yeah. And I do feel that's ironic. Okay. Maybe they were playing it up when you guys were separating. Uh, let's, well, they, they had, they were playing it like they didn't need, they didn't need you or the closure. So, um, which I feel they're now kind of inverting in a, in a proof of sorts because of the way they're handling your separation. Does that make sense? Like now that you're not talking, like they're sort of making it kind of clear that because, because they're still reaching out to you in some way. Um, and I feel like this energy is honestly like, I'll be really frank, like jutting into the rest of your reading. So I'd like to get back to who it is that's coming through. Yeah, a bit of like an interference. And you have to remember Pisces, like you deserve your autonomy, your free will, okay? You deserve to have clarity, organization, okay? You deserve to be able to focus on your future and be available for that future. So people from your past, I feel are not the name of the game here, especially during this six series planet retro it's just not about who it is that is feeling some sort of way about you leaving them behind because you are achieving the future that is for you and not for the us mm -hmm. so you have somebody definitely watching you pisces this person is in the woodwork 
I literally keep getting this call from mainland China whenever we're talking about someone who's like obsessing over you. Okay, like this had come through before. But anyways, I don't think it was on camera, but it happened. This is the second time I just got a call from an international number in China. So that could be a message for somebody, but someone is definitely... Um, like, they have their eye on you, Pisces, okay? Like, they definitely um, are interested in you. I don't feel like you know very well of who this is. I feel they do a very good job at sort of holding back. Um, when I think of China, if we were to say it, like, symbolically, this person is... Um, in a place that you could just never imagine in their heart for you, okay? Like, this is not someone you, for instance, would ever think is actually, could be emotional. Like, when you think of this person, you literally cannot emo imagine them emoting, okay? I heard it like that, wow. It feels foreign. Nine of Pentacles, the Five of Swords. Some of you, I do see something about an army. Yeah, oh man. This person has the, wow, <laughs> the poker face of all poker faces. Two of Cups upright, King of Pentacles in reverse. I'd like to get some, I'm hearing something about a cucumber. Maybe they really like cucumber. Let's get, um, some messages. You're attractive. Okay. And no. <laughs> so this is reminding me of the string that came through in the beginning of this read about how someone is feeling like you're not quite seeing your own potential. I also am getting though that this person, you can't imagine them ever telling you this, okay? Like maybe you think that they literally just see you in like a professional way, but they actually are very, they're romanticizing you. We have music. Some either literally like Imagining like laying next to you in bed. Melody, wow, yeah. I was gonna say, um, I'm hearing something about a lullaby, rockaby. This person may actually um, dream of you like a lot. They may even like actively fantasize about you, especially right before they're going to bed. So let's get a little further. Say picky eater. Oh, that also popped out. Yeah, uh, I do feel this person is like fantasizing about you. They feel that um, you deserve the world and you've just sort of settled. That's what I'm hearing. Hmm. So in terms of sign placements, really strong air. Leo. Sag. Scorpio. They're very private, this person. A lot of Aquarius. Ooh, Cancer. This person is not, I feel, around you physically very often. Like, they're, um, they're, they're, they're lurking you, Pisces. They're not, like, openly coming out and, like, interacting with you. I, like, I'm looking even at those glasses, how they're tinted. I don't feel this person is giving you any reason to know like logically that this is what's going on in their head in their mind like at night when they're sleeping it's like they have a double life with you when it comes to you can we get an um an oracle spirit for what for their the quarant needs to know we have reject wow so This person is definitely afraid that you would realize that they do see you in, wow, when, since when did this pop out? This is for chords. Hmm. That could be a message for sure. Um, yeah, certainly. I'm seeing something about a vine. Like, I feel this person is having trouble as much as they see that you're having trouble accepting your good qualities and your good traits. Pisces, this person is having a lot of trouble Okay, there's this irony. I'm seeing 1441 with like opening this up, this emotion that they feel for you. I feel this person knows that you guys have a lot of potential. However, they're not opening up to it. I feel like they may be offhanding that and projecting a little bit of that 
way that they see themselves to you and sort of creating this fantasy in their mind, even if it is just all their own, that you would never sort of accept them, that um, though it's that you are sort of um, this elusive creature, okay, that, that, that doesn't want to be bothered. And like, in reality, like <laughs> this person is nowhere to be found. Okay. It's not even, I feel that you know that this person feels that way about you. I feel like they're trying to put it a little bit um, in your court as, as a ball that they don't really want you to bounce back though, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I kind of feel this person is like creating this scenario in their mind that you are not really ready to accept who you are to them and who you will be to them and the love that you can bring to their life. It's like, because you're not somehow seeing it, but in reality, like this person is really, really scared. Okay. Um, of where it is that your relationship would go. If you would sort of have this conversation, it's almost like, Hmm. I am willing to bet you this person is not talking to you on a daily basis, but let's see here. This is more, I feel like, what they're projecting on the astral. Yeah, Ten of Cups. Maybe you guys are just high by. Hmm. But I feel like I'm seeing the color lilac. That could be a focus for someone that color, but yeah, I'm seeing lilac. Like, they feel that you're sort of better even like this. Like, interestingly, um, they feel that you don't really need someone here. So are they making, okay, let me say this, like <laughs> this person really wants to be with you Pisces. However, I feel that they don't know really how to make this like really happen so that they are feeling that you both are sort of on equal playing field, which tells me that this is their ego that's getting involved, okay? which is why it's not manifesting. So this is not about you, but I feel like they are right now sort of imagining that you're sort of like not ready for them. Uh, I don't know where that's coming from for everybody, but they're definitely not letting you go. <laughs> um, let's here get a card for each of the days, Pisces. Let's do another one. Yeah, I kind of feel like like I'm hearing that song, um, you don't know you're beautiful. Is it One Direction? Return to sender, let's go throw chakra. Yeah, so, um, they, this person really wants to talk to you. I feel like maybe they're trying to like remain humble. <sighs> Fantasizing about you. I'm here on a doorbell. For the slightest of you, they may be like kind of acting like a bully because there's a lot of tension that they're feeling with you um, in distress. Yeah, this person is fantasizing about showing up at your house. I'm hearing the sound of a doorbell. This person, for some of you Pisces, like this is literally just coming through. Like they're literally like, they're really into your, into your ass. <laughs> oh God, I hear it just like that. Yeah, they're, mm, they're like looking at you from behind. <laughs> It's coming through. I'm gonna channel it. So, Page of Pentacles, <laughs> Queen of Wands. Um, but I, I just feel like they keep putting like this energy on you of like you're not ready like to accept this love of like who you really can see yourself as. It's like, huh? Hold up. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So who? Okay. Now let's see here further. <laughs> why? Why are they doing that? I'm gonna pull on this. Why are they casting to Pisces? Wow. This person is scared of you. They feel that you can read, like they feel Pisces, you know who the hell they are, who they're not, and they need time to be real. Okay, because if they're not, and if they show up and they're showing up like without truth, they know that you are not going to really, um, they don't want to ruin the opportunity with you. So maybe what you're feeling, you're picking up on their energy of how they're seeing themselves right now, which would make sense, like, why it is that they're not, let's say, actively projecting this energy, because that would be kind of weird. Why would someone, like, project to someone directly, like, you're not ready for me? I mean, that's kind of weird, right? So you just may be picking up this vibe, like, it may not be a conversation you guys had, but you're picking up that this person is feeling that you are sort of not really worthy. It may be that 
well, this person is feeling that you're feeling that you're not really worthy. Does that make sense? You may feel that because when you're around them, it's like something is holding you back and it's almost like you're, maybe you're, you're feeling very shy even sometimes around them. Um, yeah, this is a very, uh, this is a very <laughs> long winded, uh, contract. Okay. I'm going to say it like this. I do feel you have a future with this person, but I feel like there is a lot that needs to be unpacked. And I do feel like this is someone you've recently met. So, okay, let's get into it. And this is what a $7 tripod gets you. Yeah, you guys had a super awkward interaction. Uh, I feel that this person... is not ready to meet up with you again. Could even be an employer. They feel that you're overqualified. But again, like I'm getting that like either they're projecting something to you that you're not ready for this experience or something. It's like, huh? I just keep hearing that. Like it couldn't be farther from the truth for some. Like really. I'm hearing I'm real. But no, Pisces, like, I don't feel that they are knowing really how to how to handle this connection. I'll pull more. I am curious. All right. Yeah, I get the sense they don't want to feel that it's on them to manifest this. But it's not realistic. I mean, that's just not realistic, Pisces. You guys um, are manifesting this together if you are manifesting it at all, right? It would be that you're both sort of like, it, it's not fair to say that one person. Oh my God, I think the microphone died. Um, it's not fair to say that one person would, would would be manifesting this and the other person wouldn't. Does that make sense? So give me a sec guys, I do wanna get. Um, shoot. Okay, I hope that that was recording. Let's clear it. Um, yeah, well, I hope we have sound on this video. Otherwise, I guess we'll just re-record it. Um, yeah, guys, like, this is a really awkward connection right now, probably. You're feeling that this person, like, there's so someone here, you you will notice, okay, that either you or them is acting really or feeling really awkward. And there is a question of self-respect. So, um... Some of you feel this person is not able to be genuine and some of you maybe are reading this person and you're able to tell that something is just not right with them. Like they're not able to like possibly communicate to you in the way that um, one would should they be in love. Like this person could be actively avoiding relating to you in a romantic way and they may be still 
like I just the energy of projection is so strong like I feel like they keep projecting to you that you are somehow like even oh god like and again you'll know this because of how you're feeling around them you'll feel that you're feeling sort of suddenly sort of out of even your own element like if you're usually quite confident like you'll start sort of sensing that you are wanting to even hold back from this person and I feel like that's this person projecting to you that they feel that they cannot handle what your true character would ask of them to show up with. Yeah, uh, this is super Mercury retrograde right now. Anyways, they got it figured out in the Pisces read at least. Ah, we have more space now. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, Pisces, let's continue. I do feel this is going to change and turn around in the second week. Like, if it's been awkward between you and this person, I do feel like it's going to lighten up in that second week and you'll have more open, honest conversations. Okay, there will be greater clarity and um, it's going to start to become obvious like who is the one here who's really like unable to handle the connection. I'm just going to say it like that because I feel like that's what this is. Like I feel this person just can't open up to you as well, but they want to act kind of like it's almost like they want they want to kind of blame it on you. They want you to sort of shy away so that it's easier for them and it's such a tricky energy to pinpoint this like it's very subtle possibly the point of their conversations are often that you are sort of like not showing up or you feel like it's up to you to show up and then again that person could be projecting to you this person could be projecting to you that they need you to be something that you're not yet because that's how they're feeling about themselves yeah there's so much mercury retrograde energy going on in this reading right now it's just it's a whole moment okay so yeah um and i feel like this is just it can't i mean this is not an honest open connection yet we're not at that point where the vibration is open okay it's not an open vibration though this is definitely yeah so and i feel it's gonna get interesting as we move through september because this king of cups coming in this third week is really going to illuminate like it's gonna um you're gonna see a shift here in the energy in the third week definitely yes uh this person's gonna realize as well i feel like yeah that um like what they really need to talk about here in this connection with you is not about you and what you have not let's say come through with but them and uh because until this point it's a lot of excuses some of you this person may start to open up more about commitment in the third week and they maybe are going to feel sort of more brave and sort of approaching you i feel like they feel inadequate pisces honestly they're working through a lot of their fears let's clear it down the back a lot of their fears let's clear it in the throat chakra wow yeah they're definitely moving towards you though pisces and part of it is the fire that's beneath their butt to bring this dynamic to a place that they can engage in openly they feel scared of losing you that's what's going to push this person into the space of honestly okay addressing as well the passion that they feel for you Pisces, some of you here, if you've ever worked alongside this person, they feel there's no one who can fit the role that you have played in their life in terms of their, their financial outlook. Like, let's say you work for this person, return to sender. No one has ever been able to do, do the job. Uh-huh. Let's clear it in the sacral. You are honestly showing them and proving to them that success is subtle but it is so much about also acknowledgement okay so they have not been able to acknowledge what they love about you pisces i feel it's more really how to acknowledge the connection here rather than knowing that there is a connection okay so this is about how they are sort of acknowledging that you have also 
opened a door for them and that they need to now move through it. We'll see you in the next video.